Hi guys, I was talking with some of you guys during our morning meeting and I wanted to share with you guys my monarch butterfly plant. It's called a milkweed. Um, it's really interesting and it's really cool so I want to keep updating you guys to, to show you what happens within the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. So here it goes. Okay, so here we have my milkweed plant. Um, I got this about a few years ago, maybe like two years ago. Um, we have this silky mix and this is called milkweed. What's interesting is um, the monarch butterflies, you'll I'll sometimes see them flying around and they'll come looking for this plant specifically because they can only lay their eggs on um, this specific plant because when the eggs lay, um, when they lay the eggs and then, you know, the caterpillar forms, those caterpillars can only survive off of this plant. So this is what they eat until they um, get become a chrysalis and um, turn to a butterfly. So I actually had some butterflies come already and they laid some eggs. So I'm going to try to show you guys right here. So if you can see, they're like tiny little white ones. I don't know if you noticed it already, but they tend to lay those eggs under the plant like underneath the little leaves. So there you can see that there's actually two that were already laid. So those little eggs are going to turn into um, caterpillars. So in a few days, it's been about maybe like two, three days. I did see some this morning, so there might be fresh ones. Um, ooh, I see a lot under these. Let's see, there we go. So those little white dots right there, those are the eggs that have been laid. Um, they tend to lay a lot. I'm sure there's more, but yeah, it's very, very beautiful. Um, and I'm really excited to show you the process. Check back for some more updates. Hopefully next week I'll see some caterpillars, like little ones, and we're gonna be able to watch them grow together. See you soon.